Hello and welcome to the video number six of the Common Premises UN Info Platform Training. In this video, we're going to review the first part of the premises attribute step, namely the premises level data. Please note that the CPC and the CPWG members are responsible for filling in this part for each premises. They should enter a description, which could include the premises status, if it's a temporary or long-term premises, which could also include information relative to occupants, and office types. Please feel free to add any other relevant details you may want to add. The next step is to choosing if the premises is a government collocated premises. It means that the offices are located in a government facility. If yes is selected, you will have access to another field, which is called government managed. The question here is to understand whether or not the government runs the maintenance of the building. If yes, it's a government managed premises. Then, you need to enter the premises space in square meters. It's the gross area of the portion of the building occupied by the UN entities. Typically, the area listed in the contract documents, such as the leases. Then you need to enter the premises capacity, which is the number of workstations in the portion of the building occupied by the UN entities. You also need to select the premises ownership situation, such as UN owned or commercial lease. And also to select any restriction to host you might face. For instance, space restriction. If you select restrictions to host, then you need to upload a restriction justification document. Please note that if you select other restrictions, you then will have to enter further details of this restriction. The last part of the premises level information is the investment. If there is any planned investment for the next seven years, then you need to click yes, and you will see a series of fields appearing. The only field mandatory is the total investment field. But if you have the information on the detail that we can see below, such as electrical work investment or engineering support investment, then feel free to add them. The last information to be given on the premises level data is the premise type. This is automatically calculated based on the occupant information and based on the type of premises, typically if it's a government collocated premises or not. Thank you very much for listening to this video. The next step and the next video will be about presenting the occupant level data.